Ooh, that is an iPhone leaning on a bottle of hand sanitizer. I'm a professional. Paid zero dollars. Uh, this is going to be a quick stream. Uh, I'm, I've been doing daily piano miniatures most every day since May. And I tried this once before, I'll try it again today. Uh, I, the, the goal of this exercise for me, there are lots of them, but one of them in a sentence is to play a new piano piece every day as quickly, as well as I can quickly learn it. Not as well as I can, but as well as I can quickly learn it. And so uh, there's not a lot of time. It doesn't mean that I'm performing on the first sight reading. That would be awful. It does mean that when the piece is a little bit complicated, I try to get a little bit ahead of it. So this is one that I would like to play. And I think, I think, you know, uh, if I had a lot more time, <laughs> I, should, I should work a lot more on it. But if I have only a little more time, and I think that's the accurate statement, then there are a few parts that I could probably do a little better, and I'd feel better about the whole thing if I go through and figure out what they are. Uh, so this is a, a prelude by Alcon, a French composer. That's who I've been playing last week and this week. Uh, so I'll just kind of smush through it and see if I notice where I need more work. Yeah? Uh, in my favor, I've read through this a few times already and looked at a few parts already. So I'm not, I'm mostly not puzzling over the notes, mostly. Uh, also in my favorite, the tempo marking says molto lento, which gives me a chance to think while I'm playing very slowly. So uh, let's just kind of smush through it. really centers on this key signature right now and so it really wants to have the note in between this one and this one work and if you maybe if the microphone on the phone is any good you can hear the one in between doesn't do a darn thing but sometimes it rings as an overtone of something else so so you'll hear some places where you think like that should have had a note and he didn't play it well I pushed it that's been part of the fun of this exercise. This piano needs either some work or acceptance. And I'm in between right now. So let's do that repeat, see if I can do a little better. Right there.
didn't understand what I was doing. Okay, so. That's right. Up to B flat. some rough parts, uh, especially in the second section with the repeat. Um, it just gets uh, more and more accidentals, and so I really have to... It would help if I were a little further on the memorizing track, because then I could just conceptualize the chords. It's it's a lot of diminished chords, uh, and it's it seems like it's kind of a 2-5-2-5 two, five, two, five, kind of a circle of fifths motion through there, but it's just so many notes that I don't think it that way yet. When I'm playing it. Uh, let's take that that first section seems like as okay as it's gonna be. Mainly I was saying if I had a lot more time I should work a lot more on this. What I mean by that is I am just sort of riding the pedal and not thinking a lot about fingerings and voicing. I'm just bringing out the top voice even though it's missing an important note in the melody all the time. Uh, and just trying to like get the notes struck. And so when it seems like it should be something that the left hand should do, I do that. When it seems like it should be the right hand, I do that. But I'm not really thinking about smoothness or legato or what if there wasn't a pedal. I'm just trying to smush my way through this because this is a daily piano miniature. Um, and frankly, I don't have a lot more technique than what you're seeing here. So uh, it would take a lot more time, is what I'm saying. Uh, I think what would be fruitful for me to work on, not the first section because it's kind of okay, uh, is the second section a couple parts? Uh, in particular, the part where the right hand uh, starts to get spread and I have to roll it, I really have to think about that. You probably see me tripping up. So, what the right hand alone is doing is.
this one with the left instead of the right. So let's think about that. And then I could do this. Is that the right chord? Let's do it the way I knew it before. hand helping out in the second half of this measure. Let's see if I can learn a little bit about that. So. That's remarkably easy. Can't believe I didn't try that before. Let's see if I can remember to do it. If you hear all the notes, that's that minor seventh there. Um, but it's spelled that way, and I don't hear the middle note. This is the kind of thing that goes on when I'm practicing. That's the right notes, okay. And then we come up to our B double flat with our diminished. And now we're getting to like a six, five, four here. But it's not that note. I keep thinking it's that note because why? Why is that? B double flat is an A, and then it comes down to an A flat. No, I don't know why I think that. I'm just my brain is scrambled. So again. Thank you. 
record this one tomorrow. I'll practice it a little more between now and then, but not a lot more, because that's the whole game. Uh, this one is, it says number three, uh, dans le genre ancien, uh, or I don't know why it's also in German, uh, im alten genre. Uh, so that's supposedly, uh, I know it's a prelude from Opus 31. Uh, claims to be number three. I don't know, some of the numbering on this score that I got off the internet makes me check against the recordings that I've heard. Uh, but that's apparently number three. So I will probably record this one tomorrow and it will be slightly better than what you heard now, which is slightly better than what you heard the first time. So thanks for listening to this little experimental stream and see you next time.